Hey everybody, welcome back to EA Central Platform, and in this video I'll be going over some new potential details regarding Titanfall 2 that have recently surfaced. Other than the short teaser we saw back in April, there's really been nothing out there about the game, which is part of the reason why I find these small leaks worthy to be passed along. But rest assured, a worldwide reveal is set for Sunday, June 12th at EA Play, which is EA's off-site E3 2016 event, and at that you should expect a full-fledged debut trailer and some gameplay. But now, without further ado, let's get into this video. On the Titanfall subreddit, a user claiming contact with an inside source who had given him permission posted a paragraph about the game along with the supposed Titanfall 2 concept art. The user claimed that the left side of the artwork will be the game's box art, and if you look on the Titanfall 2 website and on the thumbnail that they used for the teaser trailer, it appears to be a blurred out image of that left side. The Redditor said that the game will release in October the same month as Battlefield 1, which goes along with what EA has shown in the financial report that has the two games coming out together in quarter 3, which is October, November, and December. Also note that in an interview with Forbes, Titanfall 2 lead writer Jesse Stern said that work on the game began as early as 2014 and hinted that it could be released as late as the first quarter of 2017, which is April, May, and June. Personally, I feel like a late spring 2017 release date would make more sense, with the presumably much larger release of Battlefield 1 in the fall, Mass Effect Andromeda in the early months of 2017, and the fact that the first installment also was a spring release. But if EA really does release Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2 in the same month, that really shows that they're trying to take out any competition that might be in their way. And given that Battlefield 1 is confirmed to be releasing on the 21st of October, Titanfall 2 would likely be released sometime in earlier October. And for what it's worth, I'll also add that the McFarlane Toys Company has announced the release of Titanfall 2 action figures in Winter 2060. Also, a fun fact, in the same interview, Stern confirmed that Titanfall 2 would indeed have a single-player campaign, and also that Respawn Entertainment is looking into a companion Titanfall spin-off TV series to premiere alongside the game launch. He also added that the game takes place in a world that's both scientific and magical, but is still grounded, dirty, human, and real. But back to the Reddit post now, the user said Titanfall 2 is to feature, quote, a ton of new pilot abilities, including the addition of a grappling hook. And if we take a look back at that concept art here on the pilot on the left, you can see what kind of appears to be a grappling hook. I mean, it could be some other things, but honestly, a grappling hook is what it looks like. The user's supposed source said that the grappling hook can be used quite extensively for things such as getting into your Titan, free running, and for tactical plays such as pulling enemies while they're mid-air. Moving on, multiplayer map sizes are said to be bigger than they were in the original Titanfall, which would also likely cause the team sizes to get a bump up. The game's pre-order bonus is said to be a handgun called the Violator, and the post also commented on another supposed leak involving Mountain Dew dropping their Call of Duty sponsorship for Titanfall 2, and the Redditor says that that leak was indeed legit. So a little more info on that leak, a Facebook fan page for Mountain Dew's Game Fuel line posted this image showing Titanfall 2's supposed promotional Dew flavors, Mango Heat, and Cherry Citrus. Every year, new Game Fuels usually launch a month before the game they're promoting comes out, so if the user is correct about an October release date for Titanfall 2, the Game Fuels would probably launch sometime in September. So the Reddit user actually deleted his post claiming that it was done for the sake of the source's security and at his request. And in response to someone challenging why he said he had permission, the poster said he did, but he included some stuff that was supposed to be revealed at a later date, but the source was fine otherwise. So as always with these leaks, take this with a healthy supplement of salt, as time is the only thing that will tell if this is legit or not. Personally, I'm kind of sold because the concept art really does seem to be pretty legit with how it matches up with the website and thumbnail, but as always, it could be photoshopped, who knows. But regardless, pretty interesting stuff to think about. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on any of this. What do you think of the supposed concept art and the concept of a grappling hook and more pilot abilities and larger maps? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. So that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like on this video and remember to subscribe to EA Central to stay up to date on all the latest Titanfall news from EA Play and beyond. Once again, this has been Plav and I'll see you guys later.